Hello my friends, I'm B. this is B's Intuition, and today we're going to do a reading about what you don't see. Yeah, like what's happening that you don't see. Okay, so let's just dive on into a little more. Uh, please and thank you, Spirit. What does the collective not see during this time? Please and thank you. And this time is just whenever you see this. Please and thank you, Spirit. Ooh, what is being hidden from the collective? Please and thank you, Spirit. That is such a strong start. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you guys the cards that are coming out. Please and thank you, Spirit. What is being hidden from the collective? Please and thank you. No freaking way. No. What? Okay. What a way to start this out. Okay. Um, starting out, the first one that came out was the High Priestess. Um, so this really is about like the things, oh my gosh, this is like a lot to do with like intuition and stuff. So I, I think that this is indicating that you may have an inkling as to what is going on behind the scenes right now. I think you may know more than you... Like there's, I, in my opinion, there's like two parts of the brain. There's like the ego, which is more 3D based. And then there's like the intuitive part that is more like 5D based. And so I feel like your logical ego based brain may be telling you that you don't know what's going on. But I think that your intuition is telling you that you know exactly what is going on. I really love this image because like that tiger just looks so chill. <laughs> like just looks like, you know, just chilling. It, there's like almost like a sense of calmness or reassurance in the energy. Like it's almost like trusting that intuition and maybe trusting that everything is going to work out. There's like something about that that is like very chill, calm, cool, collected sort of energy that's attached to this high priestess. I'm also getting that you may be wanting really um, a lot to really trust in that intuition as much as possible during this time as well, because I feel like you know, you have the wisdom um, to know that when you trust in things working out and when you trust in your intuition things seem to flow smoother um, also I don't know why but the sort of crystal ball that the high priestess has here it reminds me of a globe which reminds me of the world card um, and that's significant we'll, we'll show you why uh, next card came out, Six of Pentacles. I think that you're going to be receiving something. And maybe you know this deep down. Um, Page of Swords. This could be indicating somebody that's been watching you or keeping an eye on you. Or, okay, this could even have to do with like maybe even building some sort of audience like um, through social media or... Um, creating content of some sort and uploading it to the internet. You could be gaining some sort of following, actually. Yeah, okay, we'll see. The world card came out, so <laughs> that's why I said it seemed significant that that was like looking like a globe and it was reminding me of the world card because the world card also came out. I think you know that you're leveling up, like your intuition I think is telling you that you're leveling up in major ways, but I think you just don't know 
in which ways yet. Maybe you don't know the specifics, but you know like that feeling. Also, it's so interesting that this, you know, circle in the middle that's indicating the world or depicting the world, I guess, um, looks like an eyeball. So I feel like something is going on here about eyes being on you, especially because I had a download with that page of swords um, talking about that you may be getting an audience or somebody's keeping an eye on you. And then there's also an eye here. So I feel like something you may be in the public eye or you may be being seen. Um, and it seems like it's actually very positive, especially because after the world card, we have the sun card. So what's being hidden from you is your happiness. Um, and this is like pure bliss, you know? And I honestly feel like that's like the next level that you're stepping into is like your ultimate happiness. I think like you're crossing some major threshold in your, your journey here. And then to like end these cards that came out, the Ten of Pentacles, which I believe in the last reading, the Ten of Pentacles also came out, but it was like a sort of fear thing where it's like somebody was afraid of the Ten of Pentacles. Um, and we'll, we'll explore this to see what's going on with it, but this is so much abundance and it, it could also be directly related to the home because I get like a lot of like healthy home vibes with this card. Um, so maybe you're even like making your, your home more cozy, more comfortable. Um, since we're going into fall time, you may be redecorating or something to make it feel more cozy. Like it feels like something could be positive not only in your life, but also specifically in your home. And then the Five of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Um, I almost feel like this could be indicating oh, some sense of like um, overthinking. Um, I mean, uh, and maybe even like those old mindsets or ways of thinking that you may have un outgrown but are trying to like resurface to sort of psych you out, especially if you're gonna be coming into a time of a lot of hap with a lot of happiness and stuff. First off, you could be overthinking that if you're not seeing this wonderful stuff that's coming in for you right now, you may be overthinking it and thinking that because you don't see it, that it's either not happening or something bad is happening behind the scenes. Um, so that could be some sort of like mental um, situation that you've been trying to work through but also I'm getting like especially when you start receiving these blessings you could be triggered um, mentally from um, and it could be those like past ways of thinking that just you've either outgrown or don't really serve you but they may resurface um, and yeah it may catch you off guard or something We'll clarify all of that. Let's just dive right in. Also, before <laughs> before I um, start shuffling to get some cards to clarify, it just it just so happens to be the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck, and I just think that's so funny because that was the first card that came out for these cards. So, double confirmation for High Priestess. I feel like that could be significant within this reading, which makes a lot of sense because like. You know the collective that I tap into is very highly intuitive. Um, there's also something to do with connection to spirit that I think is significant about these blessings that are coming in. But let's see. Okay, uh, please clarify that high priestess. Please and thank you, spirit. What? <laughs> okay, I have to look at that one. That one came flying out. Six of Cups. Okay, um, what else for that high priestess? Please and thank you, spirit. Thank you. Very interesting. So, we have the Six of Cups, Four of Swords, Nine of Cups, Four of Cups, Strength card, the Lover's card. A lot of um, cup action. We got three cup cards and the lover's card. 
And the strength card, which because it's representing Leo could be attached to the heart chakra in some way. This has a lot to do with love here. Also bottom of the deck is another cup card, seven of cups. Yes, and this is literally like kind of what this reading is about, what you don't see. This card has a lot to do with illusions, like not being able to see things clearly. I think that there's a love situation that you may be, I feel like you have like a very strong intuition for this, but maybe your ego might be psyching you out. Okay, so starting out with that Six of Cups, this could be somebody, um, like, I I don't want to say somebody from your past because I feel like that gives certain, like, that may, yeah, that's like, gives certain ideas of, like, who from the past, you know, I'm, I'm not picking up an ex energy from this. I don't think this is, like, an ex from the past. Um, I mean, it could be but it seems way too positive for that to be honest um and i think that this could be more so indicating somebody that speaks to your inner child um this could also be um sometimes i've seen it be referred to as like past life even um sort of connection so it could even be something that significant and since it is clarifying the high priestess that is a big possibility you're spiritually very connected so maybe you sense that there is something deeper, such as a past life connection with this person. Um, but I think more than anything, this is somebody that helps you feel, helps your inner child feel safe. And I even think that maybe this person brings out your inner child in some way or vice versa. It feels like it could even be like you both feel something about like your inner child being brought out when you talk to one another or something. It feels very kind and safe. Safe, yeah, that's like a big word for this card, safe. Um, Four of Swords. I'm thinking that you have given whatever the situation is a lot of thought. I feel like you may have even meditated on this connection. Maybe you even like asked spirit for clarity or direction like is this person for me am i crazy am i making this up like there's something significant about the time that you spend on your own reflecting on this connection um i think that spirit is also telling you that this this connection could be a gift because the um, stained glass window is almost like the six of pentacles sort of energy where it's like somebody giving to another person. And so it feels like through your meditation or praying to spirit, talking with spirit, um, you may realize or spirit may try to tell you that this person's meant for you. Could be some sort of gift from the universe sending you the right kind of person. Which is even more beautiful with the nine of cups following that because this is a wish fulfillment this connection that you have going on also this could be even just like you um trying your best to kind of because i feel like i'm getting a sort of energy that you don't like to i feel like there's a sense of independence with you i feel like there's like you want to be okay on your own and so maybe you've been like feeding into yourself a little bit or maybe you've just been working on yourself like your self-love journey your self enlightenment journey your spiritual journey all that kind of stuff self-work um i feel like you've been really building yourself up building up your confidence building up your self-love you may be even like getting yourself into that vibration of love so that you attract the right people and Oh my gosh, I love when the readings go this smoothly and the, the like downloads are just like, I love that. Okay, because then we have the Four of Cups and the Four of Cups is about having those kinds of standards. Um, and if when you're in the right frequency or uh, vibration to attract the love that is truly meant for you and you're, you know, getting, you know, 
when you are presented with people that are not in that vibration, people that are clearly not right for you, you release them. Like there's no fear here about like, um, there's definitely no sense of a lack mindset is what I'm getting. Like you know that if you are not feeling it or you know somebody's not showing up in the right kind of energy, that you can release that person and you you have like a sense of like certainty or confidence that the right people are gonna come if you release the people that are not meant for you. Like it's so beautiful, like it's very logical, but it's also very like, there's like a, a lot to do with trust, a lot to do with like a sense of self-assurance and confidence, which <laughs> leads right into the strength card, which is really about like gaining that sense of confidence. Um, there's a lot of self-control too that goes behind this strength card. It's all about that inner strength and that ability to control, um, you know, our inner like uh, demons and stuff and the stuff that may sabotage us or even codependencies or lack mindsets, that kind of stuff. It's keeping a, like control over that. And, and it's like also like this big like connection to spirit that is always emphasized to me with this card. Um, because like the figure is very much angelic, you know, in appearance. Um, even though she does not have wings, it is very much like she is an angel. And the infinity symbol above her head is talking about that connection to spirit. Um, and not to mention she's like conducting herself with such kindness with this lion here. Um, so I feel like there's been a... An, a this is just so beautiful because it's it's just like showing me that you have been really building up your sense of self-control over yourself. Definitely your self-control over those shadow parts of yourself. And I think that also shows how much you've explored within yourself. You know that those shadow parts of yourself exist and that they can show up at any time. But you have such a beautiful sense of control over it. And it's not a shameful sense of control. I don't think that you're like pushing those shadow parts down and saying oh I hate those parts of myself I wish they didn't exist and I'm gonna pretend that they're not there like no you're like accepting those parts of yourself and you're kindly resting them you know you're putting those those shadow parts to rest you know especially when they're not necessary um or they're just you know interrupting certain parts of your um your journey you know and your evolvement um or evolution I guess um, and so the strength card and then the lovers card um, you're you're making all of the right decisions like I can't you're literally making all of the right decisions like this is so clear right now um, you are literally oh my gosh you're making all of the right choices you're making all of the right decisions so that you are on the right vibration, you're in the right energy, in the right mindset for attracting your one true love and your true partner, your true soul person, you know? Oh, it's so incredibly beautiful. And spirit is just like in the background, loving every second of this. They, I feel like this sense of pride that spirit feels when it comes to you in your journey. Like you've literally worked so hard. You've literally done so much internal work. You've had to make those difficult decisions. You've had to be alone, you know? And that's a whole nother part about like attracting, you know, the person that's right for you is dealing with those lonely moments, right? Because we're human, we all crave companionship. But it's like, you don't let those lonely moments um, turn you down the wrong path. Do you know what I mean? Like, you don't let that loneliness consume you and then you're just like, okay, well, I'll just take whoever comes towards me or whoever shows a slight interest in me, I'll pursue them till the end. Like, no, you're very much like, sure, this loneliness sucks in the moment, right? And I want somebody, but I'd rather wait for the right person. And I have this sense of knowing within that the right person is coming to me. I may not see them right now, but they are coming. And I trust that. And this trust is going to ex like manifest exactly what you're looking for. And what you crave and what you need. It's really beautiful. 
I think right now you may be a little bit confused with your love life potentially. Um, you may even have like a lot of options and that could be very confusing for you. Um, so I get like, you know, I feel like the sense of confusion that I get with this card is very much like dating apps. I feel like dating apps are just like the wild west. <laughs> like you literally never know what you're going to come across on those things. And it also feels always so overwhelming, right? Maybe it's just me, but personally, I find dating apps extremely overwhelming. And I feel like this sense of being overwhelmed almost. And so maybe you're like looking at all of these cups. <laughs> I really wish I could like turn the camera around to show you what my cat's doing. She's absolutely insane. <laughs> She's sticking out her tongue. Are you kidding me? What are you doing? <laughs> She's so cute. Okay. I gotta stay focused. Um... I feel like, yeah, it's like you, you have all of these cups and it's almost like you can't see what's in the cup and it's almost like you have all of these possibilities, right? It's like you see all these cups, but you're not sure like what's in each of those cups and you don't know if what's in those cups is for you um, because you can't see what's in them. And so it's like this sense of confusion where you just see a bunch of cups and you're just like, how do I know which one of these is meant for me? Um, and so maybe you're going through that sort of time where you're kind of getting a little bit confused within the 3D. Um, and this could deal with so many other different scenarios too. Like it could also be like, if you don't have like a big range of a uh, selection of people or options or whatever, this could also just be like the ways in which you look at love, the ways in which you pursue love are confusing or like how you could be even asking yourself, like, how do I know what qualities of a person are red flags or green flags or, you know, things I should be concerned about, things that are not so much of a big deal. Like there could be a lot of things that are confusing you when it comes to love in general, you know, because especially when you're trying to manifest like your soul person, it is you're gonna go through a time of gray area in which you're confused and you're not seeing things clearly and you have to trust your intuition and you have to trust um your downloads from spirit and it can be so extremely hard to do that especially within the 3d reality but yeah um let's go on to that six of pentacles now please thank you spirit please thank you I'll put these ones back, and if they come out again, then they're meant to come out. Okay, I don't understand why they keep coming out like that in clumps. I only want... Yeah. Okay. find that six of pentacles we've got the tower card ten of swords reversed hanged man upright wheel of fortune upright the four of wands actually came out like this i feel like it's holding somebody back here the chariot in the reverse the moon card the page of pentacles so that moon card is pretty much like what this reading is about like what's hidden from you right like the things that you don't see so whatever this gift is, it's shaking things up quite substantially for you. It feels like it's positive, but it may feel chaotic at first. The Ten of Swords in the reverse seems like a very good thing. It feels like not, um, 
it feels like you're kind of releasing maybe a painful ending or something is healing that painful ending that you've experienced in the past. Like, I feel like you've definitely gone through a lot in your past and I feel like you're either feeling a sense of relief from that past or like something is coming in to make you feel much better. Um, because I really like the idea that when this is in the reverse, it's almost like the swords fall out of his back and then he's free to, you know, do whatever he wants, I guess. <laughs> um, and so like, I feel like, yeah, it's, it's like a sense of release with that card. Um, the Hanged Man. I feel like you're shifting perspectives or whatever this gift is. It's really making you change the way you look at things. Um, and then the Wheel of Fortune following that. It feels like big picture stuff. Like you're maybe like even seeing the universe from a completely different perspective. Um, maybe even collaborating with the universe, you're seeing that as a huge, like, uh, like something big shifted within your ideas of how manifesting with the universe works. Like, I'm almost getting this sense of like, maybe you didn't realize it was as straightforward as it was or something. Like, it feels almost like your mind being blown to an extent and you really like seeing things completely differently because of this gift that's coming in for you. Uh, the Four of Wands coming out like this, I feel like that. I almost feel like a sense of maybe, how do I word this? I don't wanna like say that you're thinking too much about love or anything like that because I don't know if that's necessarily what I'm trying to say, um, but it could be, well, I guess it could be that maybe you're thinking a little bit pessimistically about love and union, coming together in union with another person. Um, and that could be affecting something that has to do with an action that you're taking. But then there's like something being hidden that you don't see clearly, but that what's being hidden is somebody that wants to start a new thing with you. Also bottom of the deck is the devil card, which I'm gonna definitely kind of investigate that a little bit more. Um, hmm. Oh, this could also just be you celebrating your personal milestones. And maybe you don't want to to celebrate your success or something. I feel like it could definitely be you being modest, but I don't know if that's good for you. I feel like you deserve to be celebrated and you deserve to celebrate yourself as well and your accomplishments. Cause this feels big. Like there's a lot of major arcana coming out for this. Um, and, uh... And then it makes you afraid of like going forward or going towards something here that you're meant to go towards. You know, I think I'm gonna clarify that chariot card in the reverse, but let me see about this devil card here. Okay, so what I'm big, picking up on with that tarot card in the reverse, it feels like fear. And then I'm getting another sense of fear from this. And then I'm getting more fear from this. I honestly am thinking that something is scary here. But I don't see why you would be scared. Let me see what's underneath that devil. Because it almost... Well, before I even take off the devil card, I'm going to just say what I'm feeling is maybe this is more so a, a mask, like a big scary mask. And that mask is, is what's giving you fear, but maybe whatever is underneath it is not that big of a deal or not as scary as it looks. Let's see. The Hierophant. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, that's like a very positive card. Yeah, okay, so maybe something to do with like major commitments or, um, you know, long-term commitments. 
codependency even, toxic relationships. That could be something that you're very scared of, but it may not actually be based in reality. That sense of fear makes me wonder if like, maybe something does happen. Like while you're experiencing some sort of blessing here, you're also maybe, it's possible that somebody um, is trying to come in to come together with you and maybe you're like, hesitant about that maybe you don't feel like that person's right for you and so you're hesitant on moving forward and maybe it's because you don't know enough about that person and so you have to start really small Ooh, this just got really interesting yeah and maybe you think the worst out of this person Oh my gosh, yeah, okay. So it almost feels like this could be like a two-parter sort of, um, it could either be a two-part blessing that's coming in, like a gift from the universe that has two parts, or this is all just about love. And manifesting this with the universe. Because I'm, I'm like, I, okay, I'm just going to say what I'm feeling because it almost feels like maybe <laughs> this is kind of funny. I'm almost seeing this as maybe the universe brings you your person, but either your person is not who you thought they were going to be, or maybe they're not your standard type, like your typical type, you know? that you usually did like something here makes you very hesitant about joining in union with this person and then you're afraid of moving forward because there's something that that you feel like maybe it's not for you but I don't even know if that's true because it feels like it's based in fear because I feel like maybe it is meant for you and you're meant to go towards it but you're afraid and I feel like that fear comes from what you don't know about this person. And I almost feel like maybe you're worried that they have really toxic traits. Maybe you're worried about them having some sort of addiction. Could be like a serious addiction or just like, you know, addiction to uh, playing too much video games. Like it could be any sort of addiction. It doesn't have to be something super serious, but it could be. Um, or maybe you know that there's, because it, maybe it's like even you have like very vague ideas about this person because I feel like you don't know enough about this person, but maybe you've like heard the rumors about them or maybe they've opened up about certain things about their past. And so maybe those things that they've told you about their past sort of like color them in a certain lens for you. And maybe in your mind, you're like, okay, so clearly this person's toxic, but I don't think that they are. I feel like maybe in the past they could have been toxic. Um, I'm definitely not getting that there's like some sort of ex situation here. I don't think that's that at all. I think it's just somebody that you think is toxic in some way or you're very much worried that they could be toxic. And I wonder if like maybe they had some sort of like evolution. Because it even gives like almost like a coming to God sort of like energy, um, you know, like being reborn, like, you know, those uh, born again Christians or something like that. Like, I'm not saying specifically Christian, but, you know, it could feel like that where maybe somebody here opened their mind to spirituality and that could have given them a lot more wisdom, a lot more self-assurance, um, like, a, yeah, like a sense of stability in their life. Um, and I almost seem they could also view you as a very like wise spiritual leader. Um, they could very much look up to you. I almost even wonder, did you trigger this person to a spiritual awakening? Because like it, I'm almost even getting like maybe this is how they viewed themselves when you first got to know this person or something. I almost feel like maybe there was a period of separation. I mean. Again, I'm not getting X. I don't feel like there's like an X energy. This feels like maybe like 
you started to get to know somebody, but then like there was a period of separation. This person might've been working on something to like improve themselves. And it could be what you said to them that helped them kind of look in inwards and maybe focus on their self-improvement, work on their confidence, even like building their confidence because they could have had a very nasty view of themselves before like before you came into their life because especially if they did have some sort of past you know that was toxic they may have still um identified with that being who they are even if they were already healing do you know what i mean because it's like what they've been told by society or by other people's like for example if they did have some sort of serious addiction um society says like oh you're this type of person if you have an addiction or you know family members um or the people that we're closest to um if we're going through something like that you know um those substance substances that one gets addicted to can cause them to do all sorts of things um that they wouldn't normally do and so that can build a lot of like self-resentment a lot of guilt a lot of shame and I'm almost even getting like this person was starting to heal themselves, but they still thought of themselves in this nasty sort of light because either society or people close to them told them they were one thing. But I feel like you came in and you, you spread like a sense of positivity or light to this person. And it feels like that could have really changed them because I almost feel like they're kind of looking up to you in awe. Um, because you have this sense of knowledge, maybe a wisdom beyond your years even. Um, and I feel like maybe you helped this person go down the right path of like healing, changing their perspective on themselves, changing their perspective on spirituality or life in general. Like it feels like a very big positive shift um, that happened with this person. And so I feel like they have actually started to transform for the better, but it may... Um, You may not know how much they've transformed because I feel like a lot of that probably went on behind the scenes where you couldn't see it. Um, and so I'm almost even wondering if you're a little bit, yeah, worried that they could be, mm, like that devil character when they may not be. And that would probably make sense why the Page of Pentacles shows up because it could be either you or this person being a little bit shy, a little bit timid when, when interacting with the other because it's like, I'm not sure about you yet. I feel like on their end, they're afraid of you judging them. And then on your end, you're like, I am not sure you're healthy yet or that you're not toxic. So I'm, I might kind of keep my distance a little bit kind of energy. Yeah, I think that's what's going on there. Let's go into that page of swords. Please and thank you, Spirit. The cards are going crazy today, you guys. They keep flipping out. Like literally flipping out of the deck. <laughs> crazy, but really cool. I think it's really positive. Oh my God, this one is positive too. Okay, clarifying the Page of Swords, we got the Hermit card. Somebody's been on their little spiritual journey here, doing that internal work, self-reflection. We love to see it. Um, Ace of Wands, somebody realized through this self-reflection um, self and, and working on themselves that they have a lot of passion or attraction towards you. The Magician, they very much want to manifest something between the two of you and the Ace of Cups. They have some overflowing feelings for you. Bottom of the deck is the Page of Wands. So they want to, okay. I'm almost getting that this could be the same character from before who we were just talking about. Um, that went from the Devil to the Hierophant. I'm, it could be that person, but I'm almost getting maybe this could be a completely different person or like a new person. Or maybe just a new person that you've been 
Because, like, it, yeah, okay. So it could maybe even be just somebody that you've never been romantically involved with before. Um, maybe not necessarily a complete stranger, but maybe more so, like, somebody that you haven't known in that way, you know, romantically or passionately. Um, because, like, this is all clarifying the Page of Swords. And we got the Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So it feels like this could be a very much newer energy. And also we have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So it feels almost like something is new about this. It feels like a sense of newness. And also, I, I'm, you know, it's so interesting. It almost is giving me this storyline about like, because this is all clarifying the Page of Swords, I feel like somebody may have been keeping an eye on you, very curious about you, but maybe they didn't know exactly why they were so curious about you or why they were so like interested in seeing what you have going on. Um, but then when they go into that hermit mode, they take some time to reflect on themselves, their wants, their needs, their goals, um, what is meant for them in life, and they feel like a very strong pull towards you. I'm almost even getting with that magician card that they see that you two are connected through spirit or something. So maybe they feel like there's like even a spiritual connection that the two of you share. I'm also even getting maybe the two of you speak through the 5D, through your intuition, through... Yeah, like through your intuition or something, like psychically even. But it feels, yeah, it still feels new. I don't know. It's like this sense of like they know you, but they... <sighs> yeah, okay, so maybe this could even be that first person with the, with the past life. Interesting. Yeah, so maybe... Hmm. So... For those first two rows, I'm almost getting like, maybe those were two separate people or maybe they were the same person. Um, either way, that soul um, or past life person, I'm getting like they may be this page of swords here. Um, because I almost feel like there's a sense of familiarity, but they're showing up in such a new energy. I think you may have had a past life with this person or that's what they think or feel like it feels very significant yeah it's like there's a sense of familiarity but they also are like I think approaching these subjects with you for like the first time and I also feel like they just realize that they have these types of feelings for you and it's coming out of that time of reflection. Yeah, because I feel like maybe they didn't know exactly what they wanted with you, but they were just very curious about you. And now they're realizing, oh, I'm very attracted to this person. Oh, I, I, I have a lot of feelings for this person. And it also feels like very much that they want to get your attention with that magician card. And they could be coming in and maybe this sort of energy. If they're approaching you, they could be coming in very, like, optimistically, hoping for the best. So that also kind of indicates that you may not have some sort of, like, crazy past with this person. Um, like, I don't think, yeah, it definitely does not give me X vibes. Um, it doesn't even give me, like, past date vibes. Like, it doesn't feel like you guys have ever been together in that way, at least in this lifetime. <laughs> but there's a sense, again, of, like, a deep sense of familiarity and connection like the two of you know each other but you also are like just getting started to know each other like does that make sense like this doesn't make any sense like the way that I'm saying it but I, I think the idea makes sense right like yeah it feels like they feel like they know you but they also know that they need to get to know you yeah, it, and I think it's, they feel like this sense of like, there must be some sort of past life connection that the two of you shared because it feels so significant, but it's also like, I still need, like it almost feels like they still need to know like your favorite color and like, what do you like to do in your free time? And you know, like those types of things about you. 
Like, I feel like they don't know the basics about you, but they feel some kind of connection that just pulls them towards you. And I feel like at first they couldn't explain it and they didn't know what it was. But now I think they're gaining a lot of clarity about this. And I think that they do want to come forward and express or get your attention in some way. It could even be in like maybe even a slightly immature way. You know, like maybe, um, oh my gosh, I'm getting like this example of like, um, you know, middle schoolers. <laughs> um, like, yeah, I'm trying to think back to like that, you know, where like maybe the boy is like trying to get the girl's attention and is like maybe doing something to show off in front of her you know like like goofing around with his friends in a very loud very you know attention seeking way but doesn't directly speak to the person that she's that he's trying to get the attention of that's kind of the energy it gives me so they could even like maybe even if they don't like tell you that they have feelings or that they're attracted to you they may try to get your attention in a way that may come across as slightly immature but i don't think it's necessarily a bad immature it may just be slightly childish and maybe even slightly endearing because it's almost like i feel like especially because you're showing up as the high priestess i think you're gonna know what this person's trying to do and i think you're gonna realize that they're trying to get your attention but it's like maybe the way they do that is kind of silly or maybe they make a fool of themselves or something and you're just like, okay, that's kind of funny and cute, but come on. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's, it's kind of silly and cute. It like feels very young and exciting. Like this is a new, fresh, exciting energy, even though there's this sense of familiarity. Yeah. Okay. Let's go into the world card, please. And thank you, spirit. Interesting. Ooh, very interesting. Okay, so that came out and then that came out. Is there anything else for that world card? Please make it spirit. Okay, let's see. Um, so clarifying that world card, we have the Five of Wands, King of Wands, the Seven of Swords came out in reverse. you're conflicted about somebody coming into your life and I think that this is somebody that's actually good for you but you may be afraid of them being sneaky but I don't think that they are bottom of the deck is the six of pentacles yeah I think this is actually somebody that wants to come in and give to you this king of wands here but you don't trust them And it could be due to your past. And I would just say, because this is all clarifying the, the world card, I feel like this is a new cycle. So you may not even have to worry about your past. But obviously, it still counts, right? Because it, it's coming up for a reason. Um, you're you know, being triggered by your past, so it's coming up for a reason for you to process. Well, I'm just making sure my mic's still on. Are you still recording? Yes, okay. Um, okay, okay. It almost feels like, because, yeah, the King of Wands is a charismatic, confident person. Maybe you're not used to dating that kind of person. So you're like, a little bit standoffish with this person. Quick to be a little bit fiery, a little bit feisty. I feel like you don't trust this person. Let's see. Um, and I, honestly, I think they have true intentions because that six of pentacles, I feel like they just want to give to you, but you don't trust that, I think. I think because you may be a person that is used to being the person that gives. And so when you're on the receiving end, you're like, what are you trying to get away with? Or like, what are you trying, like, is this manipulation? Is this love bombing? You know, kind of thing. I think that's where your mind's going to go to originally. But it could change. Because like, like, again, this is all clarifying the world card. So this is like your new phase. Your, this is your next level, like going up. You're leveling up. You're going into a new phase on your enlightened path. And I feel like you've grown, matured and stuff. 
and you're not going to be attracting those same old dusty crusties from the past but i think that may be your fear especially if they're charismatic and confident i feel like you're going to be like okay so you're a player <laughs> like i feel like you're going to be like okay so you're way too confident you're egotistical <laughs> like it feels like yeah and maybe you're even like oh you can just tell that like they know they're attractive you know what i mean and you're just like oh, you're so you're so used to everybody drooling all over you like it almost feels like this sense of like ugh, you know let's see let's see if i'm on the right track with that clarify that five of wands for us please and thank you the devil card yeah you think this person's toxic <laughs> And you're so worried that they're going to be a toxic person, but I don't think that they are. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you're, you're thinking you're fighting the devil here, but that may not be exactly true. Death card at the bottom of the deck. This could be somebody that went through a major transformation. So I'm even wondering, since the devil was coming up again, since we had the devil at the bottom of the deck before, this could be that same person that we were talking about. But that death card indicates they went through a whole rebirth. Like, that's a big transformation. Like, they're a completely different new person now. And maybe they're... But, you know, if you had some sort of past with this person, and it, I'm not getting necessarily that you were in a relationship with this person, but based off of, like, past experiences or what you heard about them or what they told you about their past or something, yeah, feels like you may have your guard up with this person. You may not trust that they've evolved, changed, rebirthed into a new person. Yeah. Yep. I feel like you're like, uh-uh-uh, I'm not falling for that one. <laughs> I'm not falling for that one. But the thing is, I don't think that there's anything to fall for. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, let's clarify that seven of swords in the reverse. Please and thank you, spirit. Okay, this seems like a bit much to clarify. But yeah, let me just show you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, clarifying that seven of swords in the reverse. A lot of positive cards. I really don't think that this person's trying to screw you over, even though that's what you think they are doing. We have the Page of Cups. This person is interested in you romantically and probably really wants to offer you their little cup of love. They're okay if it starts out slow. They're not trying to rush things here. Um, the Eight of Wands. I feel like they really, really, really want to tell you how they feel. They have a lot of passion for you. The Six of Wands, I feel like not only are they, are they hoping for success coming towards you, but I think that they are very much in awe of whatever you're doing right now. I think that they're very much an ad, um, admirer of yours. Two of Pentacles, I think that this could be quite balancing for you. This connection or this person coming into your life when they do, it could be balancing, balancing the scales for you, especially because the justice card follows after that. Balancing of the scales. Things are finally like balancing out. Honestly, I think this is good karma coming in for you, but you don't trust it. You think like they're hiding something. There's something there. They're being sneaky. Or like, I'm even getting like, you know this type of personality. Like that's what you're saying. It's like, I know this type of personality, you know? I know what they're trying to do. I know that they are just manipulating me. But I really don't think they are. I think that this is meant for you. Honey, don't be afraid of this. This seems really beautiful. And it's gonna, like, this is, this is your good karma coming in. It's gonna balance the scales. It's gonna give you everything that you need for this exact moment. Like, and it doesn't even feel like they're gonna try to, like, pressure you into anything or you know um that they're trying to rush anything because it feels like they just really want to just establish in the first place that they just even have feelings for you that they just want to express how they feel about you like it doesn't even feel like you know it could even be just that maybe they just want to tell you how much they 
like look up to you, how much they like are attracted to you, how they really like have feelings for you. You know, like it could be simply just that and maybe they don't even have like any intentions or a secret hidden agenda. Like it doesn't even feel like they're coming in to express that in order to get you into a relationship with them. Like it almost feels like they just want to express it. Like they just want to get it off their chest. And I think you think that they're trying to manipulate you, but I don't think that that's the case. Especially because look at the bottom of the deck, the emperor. Um, I think this is somebody that went through a really crazy transformation. Hell, maybe this world card is even describing their journey. Maybe this person, well, honestly, I think that a lot of times too, when we have these types of people that are coming in that are like more so on our soul path, you know, people that are actually meant to be our soul person and stuff, I think a lot of the time they reflect a lot of like who we are back to us. So there is a lot of mirroring. So it's very quite possible that when I'm describing these things, they could also apply to you. So maybe the both of you have gone through this process of trying to improve yourselves, leveling up spiritually, um, you know, self-work wise, you know, just evolving, growing, changing for the better. Um, and so like this person has leveled up a lot to the, to the level of emperor. Woo. They got power. And they got a lot of confidence. They're very self-assured, respectable. They're respectful because they have that confidence. They don't gotta bring nobody down because they they feel good about themselves. So they're gonna make other people feel good too. They got that armor on underneath that cloak. So they're not afraid to fight for this if they, um, if they feel passionate enough about it, which feels like they do. So, if they got to prove themselves to you, I think that they don't mind. Hell, they might even think that's kind of attractive that they have to prove themselves to you. It's, okay, especially if they have that sort of confidence and charisma. I almost am getting that they might like that you don't trust them at first. Because <laughs> I feel like this is the type of person that does not have a hard time, you know, Finding people that are attracted to them, finding people that are interested in them. I think this person might like the chase. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't think you're going to scare this person away very easily. <laughs> like this person. Yeah, this person's a go-getter. This person's a go-getter. Like Emperor King of Wands. Like, hello. They're a go-getter and they follow their passion. So like, if anything, you rejecting them or being standoffish with them just makes them want you more. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't think they're gonna try and force anything because I think that, yeah, they're respectful. They're a respectful person. So I don't think that they're gonna be wanting to make you uncomfortable or you know push boundaries or anything like that. I think that they're gonna wanna play according to your rules and maybe because it's different from what they've experienced in the past. I think you're very different from who they're usually used to dealing with because I almost feel like there's gonna be a sense of like, oh, usually it's a lot easier for me to impress people. <laughs> but with you, you're not easily impressed and you have that past, so you're like, I don't trust you. You're just like my ex or something like that. Like. And I think that's like more of like a superficial kind of opinion. Um, I don't think that they're really like your ex, but maybe they come across like parts of your ex from the past. Anyways, let's go into that sun card, please. And thank you, Spirit. Let's see. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Let's see. This is interesting. Okay. Okay, uh, clarifying that sun card, we got the king of swords in the reverse, two of swords, eight of pentacles, four of pentacles, 
Knight of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, Star card. This is weird. This is very weird. I don't like this King of Swords in the reverse. I think that that's um, somebody that's kind of narcissistic. Very detached from emotions. Like, so, yeah, maybe even cut off completely from their emotions. I don't like that energy. Two of Swords. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, this one actually might be an X. <laughs> I feel like there's always that one mf -er that shows up in these readings that's just like, you know, I know that you're doing real great, but I gotta drop in just to ruin your day. Like, it feels like, go away. <laughs> Especially because I know exactly why they're coming in. I think this is gonna be you. Either in the future, maybe even right now. But it's, it's very beautiful, radiant, beautiful, happy energy. Yeah, honestly, I think that this is going to be you in the future. You're going to be beautiful, radiant, happy. Things are going to be working out for you and you're going to be loving life. And of course, this guy has to walk waltz right into your life and be like, Hey, what's up? I see that you're radiating with love and beauty and I want to be a part of that even though they're like clearly toxic, but. And also the star card, the ball in the deck, you're gonna be literally so radiant, so glowing, probably in the spotlight in some way, whether like a literal spotlight or not, people are gonna be focused on you and you're gonna be standing out in some way in a very radiant, healed, beautiful energy. And of course this mf -er <laughs> wants to come in They just want to come in and confuse you, it feels like. The Two of Swords following the King of Swords. It's possible that they could be stuck in their head. Like, if they're considering coming towards you, they might be like, oh, maybe I shouldn't. But if they're showing up here, they clearly want to come in. So clearly they're not that confused about it. Also, they could see you as being closed off to them, which I don't blame you. This person looks toxic. They, you know what? This is probably that Five of Swords energy. And, you know, that past that is making you mistrusting of good people. I think it's this motherfucker right here. Excuse my language. But I don't like this person. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm, there's something about this person that I really don't like. They want you to be, especially if they come towards you and try to communicate with you, they want you to be that unhealed version of yourself that they knew in the past. They want you to get so caught up in your head, so confused, so uncertain of what to do. But that's not you. <laughs> oh my gosh, this person's like a worm. Mm. And mm. actually worms are beautiful creatures and they're good for the environment so that's not even a good example they're like a parasite i don't know i do not like this person eight of pentacles this feels like such bs so either they want to work on things with you or they're gonna say oh i've been working on myself and i've actually grown so much which the Four of Pentacles says, no, the hell you haven't. You're still... This person's closed off. Like, like, ugh. This person just puts such a bad taste in my mouth. And the fact that that's followed by the Knight of Pentacles, like this person doesn't even have doesn't even have the confidence to come in 
confidently. It, I don't like that. It almost feels like this person's like waiting, watching for the right moment to come in. They may be planning, but not actually putting any effort in quite yet. I almost feel like mm, with that four of pentacles, it feels like they, like this feels yucky. It almost feels like they feel like they own you or that they have some sense of control over you. They either see you as possession or they think they have way more power. Honestly, they feel like they have way more power over you than you than they actually do. Because you <laughs> like it's just kind of laughable because like this person is so uninvolved, unevolved, unenlightened, and he, here you are. Honestly, you look like you're radiating happiness, joy, good health even um self-love like you're healing like you've literally healed yourself so beautifully and you're also healing those around you like you have truly leveled up and this person's still in that negative energy that they were in the past like this is definitely somebody that has not transformed has not evolved And also, like, they're cut off from their emotions anyway. So if they try to make any sort of, like, proclamations of love or whatever, like, you're going to be able to see right through that because this is not an emotional person. Like, I'm saying, like, I'm saying, like, narcissist, because it feels like this person, I don't think this person knows what real love is. I think they think they know what love is. And what love means to them is not what love is. I feel like that. Like, it's like the kind of narcissist that literally has to, like, cosplay feelings, emotions, human things. It feels robotic. It feels unnatural. It feels bizarre. It, it literally feels like... Like, I'm getting such a disturbing image in my mind of a robot putting on a human face. And it's like, you can clearly tell that it's just a robot because it's uncanny valley kind of thing where you're like, something's not right. But they think they have you fooled. Like, haha, they think I'm a human, but I'm actually a robot. And the whole time you're just like, I can see that you're a robot. You're not fooling anyone. Like, boy, bye. Like, honestly, honestly, and it's giving coward as well. So I don't think they're even going to like, well, they might try to apologize for the past, but it's not authentic. It's just to try and reel you in because they want to trap you. Um, but just gross energy you're like honestly though like i don't even know if they're gonna even have the confidence or the audacity to actually come in towards you but i feel like they're definitely lingering in the background maybe watching you so either they're waiting watching and like waiting for the right moment to come in or they may just never come in because they may not have any sort of backbone because especially if they have to face repercussions for what they did to you in the past and that makes them a little too uncomfy. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This person... Mm. I don't think you even have to worry about this person, to be honest. Because you're literally in such a high vibration that this person is, like, literally so small and insignificant compared to you. And I almost feel like because you're radiating at such a high frequency and in such lovely energy, I feel like this person may just coward, um, uh, what, what is that word? Coward out or, um, cow, coward out or, like, 
be a little scary pants. They're, they may be too intimidated by you to even come forward, but this is what they're thinking of. This is what they're considering doing. Okay. <laughs> so even though they're showing up, just ignore them. Like they're, they're not going to play a big role in this, especially because uh, you're like at such a different energy level, frequency, vibration, that it almost feels like you two could even be in the same place at the same time and completely just <laughs> walk past one another because you're just in completely different realities or energies, you know? Like, it literally feels like this person wants to have more power over you than they do, I think. And maybe that's kind of what's bothering them. But they can go sulk and be sad like don't ruin your high because they're feeling something like boy bye let's go on to that ten of pentacles please make you spirit what do we have ten of pentacles please make you Ooh, groovy 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 Clarifying that ten of pentacles, knight of wands, page of wands, high priestess, bottom of the deck is the ten of wands. Okay. You either have one or two people that are very attracted to you. They like that you're mysterious. They like that you're highly intuitive. They like that you are connected to spirit. And they see you as Ten of Pentacles, which could be literally your energy. Like this could even be like you, once you have this Ten of Pentacles, being at a beautiful, you know, being in a beautiful place in your life. Or they could see the two of you coming together and building that Ten of Pentacles together. And so, yeah, these could be two different people that want to come in and uh, express maybe how they're feeling, especially because of that Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Feels like somebody or some people are overburdened with their, their feelings of attractedness to you, um, feelings of passion, their interest in you, um, I don't know if you take these people very seriously because the Knight of Wands is kind of just like a flirtatious energy, um, you know, quick in and out kind of energy, sometimes like more so player vibes. Um, so that's, you know, you may not take that person very seriously. Also, this Page of Wands energy, it's possible that this is just somebody that doesn't know you very well or you don't know them very well or vice versa or, you know, both. Um, but yeah, you may not take this person very seriously either because they may not show up very confidently. And, you know, through the high priestess, you have like all this power, all of this magical energy. And so I feel like you may be like, mm, I don't know. Let's clarify that Knight of Wands. Please, Lady Spirit. Well, that just got very interesting. Oh, no. Knight of Wands clarified by the Five of Swords. Uh. I don't like that. I don't like that Five of Swords. I don't like the Five of Swords in general, but I especially don't like that coming out for the Knight of Wands. Because that almost feels like spiteful energy. That almost feels like if you don't accept my proposal, then I'm going to hate you or I'm going to do something to hurt you. I don't like that energy at all. Temperance card at the bottom of the deck. 
I mean, it is the king of, or not king, knight of wands. So fire energy, potentially uh, Sagittarius, but not necessarily. Um, it's possible that this person could have hurt you in the past. So maybe they're trying to come in to kind of make up for that. But that is, you know, significant that the knight of wands was clarified by the five of swords. And that raises some eyebrows to me. What do you mean by that five of swords, please? And thank you, Spirit. What is this person planning? Mm. Okay, I see what's going on now. Ten of Pentacles. Um, I think you had a player in the past with this Knight of Wands. That player hurt you very significantly maybe even you felt like they took away your sense of power and now they want to come back because they see they suddenly see a whole future with you and how abundant that could be together and the two of you could build a beautiful family beautiful home everything together but they're still showing up as i don't want so they have not evolved or grown or changed and it feels materialistic and it feels like they're after you for the wrong reasons. But then at the bottom of the deck is the two of cups. Is this person delusional? Like, is this person thinking that the two of you are soulmates but now it's like now they finally realize when you're like in your success and you're glowing and you're doing well it's like oh actually i do think that we're soulmates jk on what i did before in the past Let's see what's underneath that two of cups because maybe their feelings are genuine. I don't want to judge this person too. Five of pentacles underneath. So that is telling me that they have nothing to back up this two cups, two of cups. Yeah, they want you for the wrong reasons. I'm just saying, I'm just saying they want you for the wrong reasons. I think this this could be either the same manipulative energy as that King of Swords in the reverse, or this could be somebody else. And it feels like, I'm just going to say it because it's coming to mind. It feels almost like they want to take you off the market because they feel lost without you. They feel like they have no sense of identity without you. They feel like they have no sense of stability without you. They feel like maybe all of their purpose and meaning is attached to being with you or being seen to be with you. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And it, yeah, again, it feels like they want to just take advantage of where you are at in life. It's not about how they genuinely feel about you. It's about, oh, what, what can you provide for me though? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. Let's clarify that page of wands then. Is this somebody else or is this the same person? Who's this page of wands? Please thank you. And what do they want with the collective? Page of Swords. Okay, so this could just be somebody that's kind of shy, new, keeping an eye on you, uncertain. Uncertain of whether or not they should come towards you even. Or this could be the same person as we had earlier with that other Page of uh, Swords. When we had the Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This could be that same person. The one that went through the Hermit phase. Okay, so... You know, even if they show up in a way that's like a little bit shy or not super confident or whatever, they may have more of a chance, definitely. Especially if you can see their like true intentions, you know? This may just be like somebody that just has a crush on you and, you know, is curious about you, maybe wants to express that a little bit. Not super confident, maybe doesn't know you super well. Maybe you don't know them super well. I'm getting a different energy than the Knight of Wands, though, so. 
Um, oh, Six of Pentacles. I'm, I want to say, oh, this was the person, um, we had this at the bottom of the deck with the uh, King of Wands person. So, they could be attached to that, but not necessarily. They could be the same person, I suppose. Just showing up very shyly, very meekly. No, actually, scratch that. I don't think that's the same person because that King of Wands was like serious business. I think this one, yeah, this one I think maybe just be like, may just be like a little crush that this person has. They want to give to you because they think you're amazing. And yeah, you're the high priestess. So like everybody's going to want you. People think you're mysterious. They want to learn more about you. They see that you are very tapped in to the divine, to spirit. You have a very deep intuition. Yeah, you're like, you're just very captivating for a lot of people. So I think you're going to be attracting a lot of different people. Um, and I think, yeah, this one definitely gives me a, a way sweeter vibe. Like this almost feels like even, this could even be somebody younger than you that has like a little crush on you that you may be like, oh, that's sweet. Like, I don't even know if you're like, will seriously consider them. I think you're going to definitely have to like look more into it to determine that. But um, yeah, I think you, because especially when you're in that high priestess mode, you're going to be able to see through each of these people. I think you're going to be able to see that this one is just, you know, young and hopeful, you know, kind of energy, like um, maybe even a little bit naive even. But then the other one, that Knight of Wands, I feel like you're going to be able to see right through them and be like, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Because this is what you deserve. You deserve people that are actually going to give to you and not take from you. Yeah, 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 straight up, straight up. And I think this is what's meant for you, those scales being balanced. You're like, I feel like that's what this is. Like what you don't see is that you're gonna be coming into receiving mode where you actually receive for once. <laughs> um, like you're not the one given. People are gonna be given to you. At least the right ones are, you know? And you're in such a, highly intuitive mode that you're going to be able to see right through these people so don't even worry if you're like concerned about exes coming back or people that mistreated you in the past you have like this eagle eye and you see everything okay so don't even sweat it this is a lot of good stuff and it's telling me that you're going to be coming into a beautiful time and because of that some of these crusty dusties might come out of the woodwork but like they are just not even on your level not even in your energy um like not even in your vibration i mean like seriously like they they're not going to make a huge impact because you're just on a completely different level like for real okay so that's our reading i really hope that you enjoyed this um i hope that it resonated if it did resonate feel free to like comment share and subscribe if you subscribe you can become a part of the hive collective because my name is B. Bees live in hives, and you can become an honorary bee like me. And we can be a little boy family together, okay? Very cute, so very demure. Um, and if you like my readings and you'd like to see more, be sure to click that bell icon down below so that YouTube actually notifies you next time I upload. And thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you, and I can't wait to see you in the next one.